up in the getting closer to the canopy here of this pine it's been three years um well if i cut some of these trees i still can't see the water though i kind of thought i'd be able to see the water from up here up pretty high i don't know probably 50 60 feet or so yeah probably my head's probably around 50 or 60 feet somewhere around there but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get my rope tied up right in here because that'll be enough leverage because i'm gonna go right down it's gonna pull from right there so let's go ahead and get this started here. Also, to be honest with you, a little nervous. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. We got them there. I mean, all the way up. So if you think about it, each step I took, and then all the way back down, had a bunch more holes. So if you think about it, there's a lot of there's an argument, right? Um, people out west coast, some some climbers will uh, uh, spike up a tree and say it doesn't hurt it. Others will say you absolutely can't damage the bark. It's hard to say, I could see it kind of both ways, you know, I mean, this this right here is creating a little cup for water. I, I'm not an expert, I'm no arborist, I'm not claiming to be an arborist, but this tree is coming down. So it's a removal. And so that's why we went ahead and climbed it. All right. I'm putting a prusik hitch in the middle of this uh, rope here because uh, last time I used my rope, I actually hurt quite a bit of it because I, um, I, uh, I just tied a knot in the middle and it, and it caused an issue where it pulled the sheath off. So this should provide enough surface area, I think. It'll give me the ability to tighten this up. So um, what I've done here, guys, I just took a piece of scrap rope, uh, fisherman's knot here. So, you know, tied the ends together, made a loop, and then uh, prusik onto here this is an arborist knot this is more for like climbing because it slides nicely and then as soon as you put pressure on it tension it locks in tight yep keep going just a little bit okay right there's good
should have knocked it to point even more that way. Yeah. But well. it's time to talk about some successes and talk about some failures, okay? So this, I learned a little bit here. I've really never pulled a tree with that much of a lean. My face cut was pointing where I wanted it, okay? And I was pulling that way from with my rope in the truck. Now, those limbs are very heavy on that side. They were long. They actually did tag the corner of my shed just a little bit. This tree was making me nervous for quite some time. It really was because I was just, I was worried about wiping out my shed. Uh, I didn't want it to go that way. Now, what I should have done is I should have aimed more towards the pile and I probably would have ended up really where I wanted to. Again, my, if this wasn't a leaning tree, this would have landed right where I wanted it. I should have compensated, I think, I think if you guys know better, let me know, but I should have compensated more that way. But again, I didn't want to cut so far against the lean because I was really worried about getting pinched. I should have used the 545 with a smaller bar um, as far as this way. That, might, that may have helped. I don't know. I'll probably cut this tree with the 545 because it's so, it's so, it's only like 12 inches in diameter or so. Um, anyway, but this is a beautiful tree. Um, we got this cut uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start, start getting this limbed up just a little bit. I'm going to get some water and uh, the 620 did great. It was nice having that that bar. Uh, I'm sorry, the full wrap on there so I can cut from this side. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Yes, I saw that. If you really want to do something on your property, you can't possibly expect to keep a majority of your trees. You, you just can't. Well, for a lot of reasons. Yeah. They, they get killed anyway. Even if you do try to work around them, you kill them on accident from compaction around the bases or digging through the roots. Everybody's gone. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, wow. It's a stick bug. <laughs> Okay, so that's two logs right there. Good. Yep. Logs on the ground. Now all we gotta do is get a rope up in that and we can cut that tree down. Yeah. <laughs> 